Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Tyler here back with another YouTube video. Now in today's video guys, what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is how to make custom YouTube banners only using your iOS device. And yeah, so let's get into it. So if you guys don't already know, when you go on my channel and you look at my banner, it looks like this. So this is going to be kind of what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do just to get you a general concept of what it's going to look like. Alright, so the first step to making this custom YouTube banner is what you guys are going to want to do is go into like Safari or Google Chrome or whatever you do your searching on and you just go into it and you look up banner template and then just go to images. Basically what this does is for the banner template, it shows you like how big you need it for like mobile TV and computer stuff like that. So it shows up and like looks good on everything like how this is like the safe area you just don't want it to look bad on like a certain thing you want it to look good on everything so you just go and you save the image the next step is you want to try and find whatever you want to use for your actual background on the youtube so what you guys are going to want to do is just like look up whatever you can think of like whatever you want as your background i'm just going to use uh mountains as an example so i'm just going to go look up mountains and I'm gonna go to images. And once I find one I like, I'll use this one. And then you just wanna save that image also. The next thing you guys are gonna wanna do is you guys are gonna wanna open up your app store and you guys are gonna have to download an app and it's free and it's called Fonto. It should be like one of the first few ones that pops up. As you can see right here, this is the one that you wanna get. It is free and yeah, so just download that real quick and then open it up. After you guys have your Fonto opened up, it should bring you to this screen with just a grid. So what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to tap this picture right here. And then just go from photo album so you can get to your camera roll. And then tap on the one, the uh, template that we had. And then you're just going to want to hit done. Just don't crop it or anything. Leave it like that. And now you're going to want to get your second image in. So what you do is you hit the three lines in the left corner. Then hit add image. Then go to your photos. Click on the image that you want and hit done. After you have that, you should see this image right here. And now this is where it comes into play with the sizing. You're going to have to go to size after you've clicked on the image. And you have to match it up so it fits perfectly with this thing. So we're going to have to adjust the height. You just got to play with it a little bit. That should be good. And then you just want to turn the width like this. It's a little bit too far. Just a little bit more. And yeah, that should be good. Next, what you guys are going to want to do is add the text, which makes it your own custom thing pretty much. So what you guys do is just literally tap anywhere on the screen and it'll bring up this thing that says add text. And then you just wanna type whatever you want to say in there. So I'm just gonna type my channel name like that and pick whatever font you want. Um, for mine on my channel, I use permanent marker cause I think it looks pretty cool. So there we go. Then you wanna hit done. And then you can also change the style, which I like to do, like outline it and everything. So one thing I do is just mess with one of those to get that. And then you can like make the width thicker and then less thick like this. I'm going to get it to about here. And you can also play with like the colors, like what you want this colored. And you can also do the text to like make it different colors like this. I'm just going to keep mine as white. And then you can also move over to here to style. You can mess with the spacing. You can underline it. I'm just going to get get it so it's like more 3D. I'm going to make it pop out like that. And then after you are like happy with how that looks, you hit done. You bring it up to here. And just kind of place it like near the middle probably. You can also always change the size with this. So I'm going to make it like about that big. And then that should be about it for the um, 
template part of it, or not the template part, the um, banner. So then you're just going to want to hit the box with the arrow in the corner, and then hit Save Image. So the next thing you guys are going to want to do after you have it saved is you guys are going to want to go into the web browser of your choice and just look up YouTube because you cannot um, save this onto your YouTube channel as your um, banner using the YouTube app. You have to actually use like the desktop version. So what it's going to do when you first look it up is it's going to bring you to this um, just like mobile version of YouTube, but it's like on the web. So what you're want, gonna want to do is to get it to the desktop version is hit like these A's in the left corner and then hit request desktop site. So then it's gonna re-prompt you to this desktop version. So what you're gonna want to do then is go to the your little channel thing in the corner, and you're gonna want to go to your channel, and then customize channel, and then you hit the pencil in the top right. And then you just hit edit channel art. And then after that, you just, um, it'll ask you to select a picture from your photos. And then you take that picture, put it in, and that should be your channel art. So yeah, guys, that's really it for this video. Um, I hope this helped. If you guys have any other video ideas, comment down below. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.